Show them the knot, and that's the trick. So you just hold up the knot nice and high so everyone can see how that. When I was about five years old, I got a little Fisher Price magic set. And so it had actually little doors and contraptions on it, and you kind of had to slide your fingers in. And it, it was at all kind of self working as long as you moved the right devices and stuff inside. And it would make these little balls move and these doors and little rabbits, sponge rabbits disappear. And it was kind of neat. And I, I liked it because it was like a little suitcase, too. So it was kind of like a little stage it would set up. And uh, so I got that. And, and then uh, I got more and more tricks and got a little show together when I was about 12 years old and started doing birthday parties. Watch. <laughs> But it's amazing when you can sit be right beside him and you see this happening and you still don't know just what went on. I found it very, very entertaining. Yeah, well, there's definitely a trick happening. Definitely a trick. I don't know how he did it. No, it was good. It was really good. We were just talking. I wish I had hands that fast. Hard <laughs> tricks, which are kind of, you know, standard magic tricks to things like I've got uh, uh, a, a spring puppet called Rocky Raccoon, which is... It sounds kind of weird, but it uh, looks really real when I use it. And what happens is I, I manipulate this, this puppet, and it looks like a real raccoon, and I just have fun with it and maybe scare someone with it. And it just it, people are really kind of like, what is that? And they're not too sure if it's real or not, and, it, and it's a little something different. Um, there's also things where I uh, you know, pretend to have a, a snake in a basket, and it jumps out. And um, there's, there's tricks where uh, things penetrate, like I pull a rope through my body. There's, uh, I, I make someone a magician, and I help them try to teach them, and that they're having problems, and it's a whole kind of, you know, keeps, they keep having problems, and it makes it funny. And then finally, at the end, they succeed. And so there's, there's things like that that I like to do, uh, different tricks where uh, sometimes there's mind reading or something. But there's all, comedy's always involved. I always kind of try to keep it light. So I like to spice things up and keep people on the edge of their seats. Good luck. Be all the good times.